What's going on my friends out there? I'm Jake James Lugo and welcome to Gamers with Games. Now let me ask you guys a question. Is gaming alone necessarily a bad thing? Being solo, being that lone wolf, being away and ostracized and set apart from the rest of the world and the rest of the internet on PSN and Xbox Live, is that necessarily a bad thing? Can it actually be something that's positive for you? And that's what we're talking about today in this vlog. This idea of just gaming alone, when you don't necessarily have any other friends with you to go online, to play different types of games together, or even anybody around you to play local multiplayer. Can this actually be a good thing? Now, in my experience here and there, everybody goes through this and stuff, you're not always going to be around other people. You're not always going to be paired up with other individuals online, whether you're on PSN, Xbox Live Arcade, Nintendo Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter like that. Sometimes nobody's just going to want to be able to deal with you, nobody's going to want to be able to be paired up with you like that. It could be for one reason or another, it, you can never really tell the difference sometimes. But for me, sometimes I feel like being alone like that and being in solitude and just being away from everybody else, you know, just going on your own online on PSN, going into matchmaking or something, could sometimes be really therapeutic and actually be really helpful to you in the long run. Whether it's improving your gaming skills, your interactions and your, your, your know-how and communicating with other individuals like that because you're exposed to other people and other types of people on the great wild west that we know as the internet, sometimes that could be a great thing. Now, there have been plenty of times in my experience, especially now, I've been playing a lot of Destiny with Rise of Iron DLC, where I haven't been able to get matched up with other people in fire teams to do the raid, to go into the Crucible. Sometimes things are just not always going to work out like that. Or at least you're going to come across individuals that sometimes you just don't click with and that nobody wants to deal with you like that. So what do you do? How do you deal with something like this? Well, to be perfectly honest and to be perfectly blunt with you, sometimes you just got to embrace it. Sometimes you just gotta embrace the solitude, just embrace that, uh, was it, those moments where you're not gonna be around other people, where you might want to be with other uh, cool people on your friends list, people that you might know personally, you might want them around you to play local multiplayer like Smash Brothers or something, and it's not gonna happen. Either people are too busy, sometimes they just don't wanna deal with you, they just don't wanna hang with you, and it's one reason or another, again, it's different for everybody, or just nobody's available, you know, you just can't reach out to anybody, and you feel a little bit isolated. You feel a little bit ostracized. I felt these types of emotions before and everybody goes through them at one point or another. The way that you overcome it, the way that you deal with it, and the way that you move past it towards something bigger and better for yourself, especially those emotions that are so negative at times, just embrace it. Just feel like, okay, you know what? Nobody wants to go with me on this little misadventure right here. I'm gonna go off on my own. I'm gonna be the lone wolf like that. What you're gonna end up doing and what's what happened to me a couple times, you're gonna go online and matchmaking. Maybe you're playing Call of Duty, maybe you're playing Destiny. You're gonna go into the strike playlist or the team deathmatch matchmaking like that and just completely just go off and have your own experiences like that. It's gonna help you out with your better, uh, was it better your gaming skills? It's gonna help you meet other individuals who you might add to your friends list like that. Or you're just gonna get away from everybody else. You're gonna have those fun little experiences that are unique to you with your own little memories and stuff that maybe you could share with other people later on okay you're not always gonna be around other individuals you're not always gonna have the ability to be around other individuals whether digital or in real life like that don't let it defeat you don't let it get you give you these negative emotions of feeling ostracized don't get let it give you these feelings of being rejected by other people whether they're friends or colleagues or acquaintances and stuff sometimes being alone could be the absolute best thing for you and it could be something so positive and essential to your growth as a human being, as an individual, as a man or woman like that, that you might not realize it, but it might just be a blessing in disguise. Anyway, guys, that's just my thoughts on the whole matter of gaming alone. Again, I've had a lot of experience with this, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have gone through some of these things here and there. Leave me a comment down below, and let me know what you guys think about the whole matter, the subject of gaming alone, gaming in solitude, feeling like, you know, you just don't have other individuals around you and stuff. Give me some of your stories of whether you've experienced this online or offline like that. And don't forget, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the Gamers with Games channel for all my videos related to gaming, stronger living, movies, anime, a whole bunch of other stuff that I got here on the channel for you guys. I'm uploading a lot more vlogs more frequently, so there's going to be a lot of content going up on the channel that you guys are definitely not going to want to miss. And don't forget, guys, I'll keep reminding you, and there'll be links in the description box below. I'm streaming every single day on Twitch TV, playing a variety of different video games, interacting with the chat, 
taking your guys questions live on the actual uh, was it streams the live streams that I do and also just having fun I'm really trying to build up a positive community of people really trying to give you guys a lot of fun and engaging content that you guys are going to enjoy and maybe come out with a little bit of food for thought out of either way whole bunch of stuff is there available for you guys links are all in the description box below I will talk to all of you again real soon peace out stay epic everybody